Today we're going to take a look at the Kanger Sub Tank Nano. Okay guys, so as most of you know, I received the Kanger Sub Tank Nano in the mail and it was uh, free from gearbest.com. They sent it out to me to do a review for you guys. This one is actually the one that was in the giveaway that actually ends today uh, at the time I was shooting this video. I couldn't take it. I had to open it and I had to try it out. So I reordered a brand new one. I forget the website that I ordered it from, but it wasn't gearbest.com. Uh, Gearbest sells it for $39.90 and I picked up a new one for $25. I got a pretty good deal on it. And the one that I ordered will be here tomorrow and that's the one that's going to be going out to the winner when we have the drawing tomorrow. So I opened this thing up. I was just curious because I've been hearing a lot of hype about it and I had to see what all the hype was about. So I couldn't take it. It was sitting on my desk. It was looking at me and I had to open it and try it out, man. I mean, you know how it goes. So inside, I'm not going to go like in depth with all this stuff, but you get all your typical Kanger booklets and, and product authenticity cards and all that kind of stuff. And then you also get an extra OCC coil as well as an extra piece of Pyrex glass and some O-rings. So that's pretty cool. So I'm going to put all this stuff back. Then we'll take a look at the tank. I've been using it for like the last four days. I can't say enough good things about this tank system, man. One of my favorite things about this right off the get-go is the airflow. Look how massive the airflow is on this little thing. And this tank is tiny, man. I'm almost out of juice there. But the airflow on this thing is just amazing. I can't believe it. Uh, compared to the 25 millimeter one, the big one, which I've got it right here. You can see the massive difference. Compa I mean, look at the difference in the airflow. This little one here, the Sub Tank Nano, has way better airflow than the big one. So that's a major improvement. That's the issue that I had with the big Sub Tank, was that the airflow was too tight on it. On this one, it's actually really good. I'm really surprised by it. So, you know, you got the removable drip tip on here. And, you know, the tank is a bottom fill. You pull the bottom off here. You got your OCC coil there. This one is the 0.5 coil. And then you got like a, I think it's a three mil tank, maybe a two, I'm not exactly sure. I could check here real quick just to make sure that we're, yeah, it's a three mil tank. So I'm gonna go ahead and put it back together. When I ordered the new tank for the giveaway, I actually ordered some extra coils and all that stuff because I really like this tank system, man. I can't believe it. You know what, while I, got, while I have this off of here, I might as well go ahead and refill it, right? The vapor production on this thing is fantastic. I mean, it's perfect to take with you, you know what I mean? I've been, I got the Goblin, and I like the Goblin, but I'm not really, like, real happy about the build deck of the Goblin. It's a little small, and I like to use, like, uh, 22 gauge and 24 gauge Canthal. And so the Goblin, I like it, but it's just a little bit of a pain to build on. But still a very awesome tank and well worth the 25 or 26 bucks that I paid for it. And man, this juice right here, <laughs> I'm kind of all over the place, but this juice, I have to say something about it. It's fantastic. It's like a butterscotch slash vanilla custard. And I just made this today, man. This, I mean, it was a 30 mil bottle and I vaped almost all of it. Well, I vaped almost half of it. It's very, very good. This juice just has like a really creamy, really creamy taste to it with just a slight hint of butterscotch. It's just amazing, man. It's fantastic. I'm vaping this at 28 watts and it's coming out to 4.16 volts and a 0.62 on the ohms. Not sure why the ohms are reading like that. It's a 0.5 ohm coil, but you know, it is what it is. Let's give it a vape and see what kind of uh, vapor production airflow it has on it. I mean, you see what I'm saying? This thing is a little powerhouse, man. I just sit there and like chain vaped it. Drip tip does get hot, but I mean, I didn't get any dry burnt hits. And this juice is uh, 60-40, so 60 VG, 40 PG. 
And the flavor that comes off of this thing, man, is just fantastic. I'm just impressed by it. I actually like the flavor off of this better than the Goblin. I have the Goblin right here. And the airflow is perfect. I mean, they didn't need to make it any bigger or any smaller as far as for my taste. I mean, obviously you can adjust the airflow on this, but I like it wide open. And it works perfectly, man. I'm just very, very impressed by this product. I'm not really sure about the price point of 40 bucks, but if you can pick it up, like uh, I bought the other one for the giveaway, if you can find them for 25 bucks, like I did, I used the discount code and all that stuff. So I got it for like $25 and that's a really great deal for a tank of this caliber, man. I mean, you do have to fill it a lot if you chain vape like I do. Yeah, you have to fill it three or four times in a day, but not that big of a deal. They also have this in the Sub Tank Mini. Now, I haven't tried that one. I was going to order it, but I was a little leery because the first Sub Tank was just complete crap to me, and I paid $52 for it when I got it. This one here, I wasn't even going to open it, which is, you know, I... I Got the giveaway through GearBest. They contacted me and wanted, you know, wanted to send me one out to try out or whatever and promote their website. So I was like, cool. So I told the girl, let's go ahead and just do a giveaway with it. You know, I'll give it back to the subscribers and then, you know, have them check out GearBest and go get some good deals. So it was sitting here on my desk in this box right here and it was wrapped up and all that. And it was sitting like over here off camera. It just kept calling to me. So I had to rip it open and try it out. And as soon as I filled it up with e-juice and I let it sit and soak and all that kind of stuff for like five minutes, the first time that I tried it, I was completely blown away by it. I just have nothing but good things to say. I mean, after the debacle, as far as I'm concerned with the first version, which is this gigantic, I don't even know what this is, like six mils or something, but it's 25 millimeter. It looks goofy on everything that you put it on and the airflow is just too tight. I used to be a mouth to lung hitter, but now I'm strictly a lung hitter. Tight airflow just drives me insane. So everything that I vape on, the airflow is completely wide open. Now I realize that that's not everybody, but you know, for my personal preference, I like my airflow completely wide open and unrestricted. And this little tank is impressive. I've got it on the IPV3, and this has been upgraded to 165 watts. Vaping it, I can vape it up to like 30 watts, and I, and which is the recommended, you know, from like, I think it's uh, rated for like 22 watts to 30 watts or something like that. I don't know. I know it goes up to 30 watts. Anything above that, and I do get dry burnt hits. Down on 28 watts with the airflow that this thing has, it's perfect, man, to take out and about with you. You know what I mean? You don't have to worry about dripping dripping and driving or any of that kind of stuff. Yeah, and I mean, I can take really long pulls on this, and I don't get any dry burnt hits. I mean, you can see you got the big intakes right there. See that one? And then, again, over here on the other side, see that right there? And that's for the juice to go into the coil. And then this massive airflow down here at the bottom. And it just works out perfectly. I'm in love with this thing, man. My goblin has been staying here at the house. And when I take off, I take this little setup right here. And it works out perfectly. I'll take this and like a small bottle of juice, like a little 10, 15 mil bottle of juice, and I'm good to go. That's really about it, guys. Like I said, I've got a brand new one coming in tomorrow. Uh, I ordered it like, I think it was Sunday, so it's getting here really quick. I forget the name of the company. I apologize. Anyway, I have a brand new one. It's going to be here tomorrow. And it'll be here just in time for the giveaway. So no problems there. So the winner will get a brand new one still in the cellophane. But this one here from GearBest, I'm keeping. <laughs> it's fantastic. All right, guys. Take care and happy vaping.